Greetings and welcome to Let's Play Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. Well, last time we got asked to defend the Steel Samurai, aka what was his name? Max Powers? Yes, it was Jack Hammer and Max Powers. <coughs> Max Powers. <coughs> Okay, anyways, um, well, we found some clues, nothing too much, so we don't have any clue who may it be. We just saw Steel Samurai kind of walking, and yes. And I had to drink something. I hope the old bag lady isn't screaming today, <laughs> because this really hurt my throat. Anyways, October the 18th, 10 a.m. District Court, courtroom number 4. The court is now in session for the trial of Miss Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The def defense is ready, Your Honor. Here we go. Mr. Edwards, the opening statement, please. The prosecution will show the court that at 2.30 p.m. on October the 15th, the defendant, Mr. Will Powers, killed fellow actor Jack Hammer at the Studio One of Global Studios. It is impossible for anyone else to have committed this heinous crime. The evidence presented during the trial will all point to this fact. Hmm. I see. Very well. I would like to move on to your testimony. Mr. Edwards, the prosecution may call its first witness. First, I would like to call a familiar face. Detective Gumshoe, to the stand. Detective, if you would briefly describe this case to the court. Yes, sir. I'll explain the guide map here. To understand this case, it's important to grasp player of the studios. See? This here is the employee area. The actors did a once walk the action scenes in the morning here. This is the main gate to the studios. The security lady that works at the studios was here at 1 p.m. on that day. Past the security station, here stands a gate. See? Past that are the studios. And here it is, Studio 1. This is the scene of the murder where the body was found. Now, on to the day of the murder, October the 15th, there were only three people there. The victim, Jack Hammer, the defendant, Bill Powers, and the young woman, the production assistant. All the production staff were in the employee area until noon. Then, after lunch, the victim, Jack Hammer, went to Studio One. Right after that, at 1 p.m., the security lady got to the guard station. Why didn't we get a photo of him walking through the gate? There it is. No jumper head later that day, 5 p.m. The production staff came to Studio One to perform a rehearsal. Needless to say, the rehearsal was cancelled. The time of death was 3.30 p.m. The samurai spear found lodged in the victim's chest was the murder weapon. Looks the case, in brief. Anyone like to hear that again? Hmm. Should I listen to that whole thing again? No. Skip it. I think I can probably remember that. So, the murder weapon was that spear. Hmm, how medieval. Some of spear added to the court record. Your Honor, this case is quite simple if you ask one question. And that question is, what did the security lady at the guard station see? Understood. Let's call the security officer to stand. Oh boy. Will the witness declare her name? Huh? Why aren't you handsome fellow? I'm afraid I'm a bit flustered. Your name? Please! Oh dear me, no need for you to be embarrassed. Just call me Grandma. Your name, please! Seems Edward had a bit of trouble getting his witnesses to say their names. 
Then the outbreak, dear me. So just call me, quite my I will never say I'll not break what it may not show our ship and make fun of us, but I don't believe it. But what's his point is capital to chess coming to the high call the outbreak and just carry it on. The objection! I objected with the stock activeness! Objection sustained. The witness will refrain from rambling on to stand. I was just getting to the good part, dear we. Perhaps we can get to the testimony? No, the witness was stationed at the Merlin Gate on the day of the murder, correct? Yes, say, I was. And to get to the scene of the murder, someone would have to pass by you. Uh, you know your stuff, dear we. You may begin the testimony. She sure is one hell of an old back. Witness account. On the day of the murder, I arrived at the guard station at 1 p.m. Poor old Hammer and the rest had been doing a run through there since the morning. I, well, I had some runs to run this morning. Anyway, there was one when I got to the guard station. I was at the main gate from the un from then until 5. Now, the murder happened at 2 p.m., what? 2.30 p.m., what? Interesting to me, because a certain man walked right by me at 2 p.m. It was Powers, that man right there, and he was heading toward the studio. You saw the defendant, then? Hmm? Very well. Let's begin the cross-examination, Mr. White. Yes, Your Honor. <sighs> okay. Blah, 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 blah. Let's see, we have Samurai Spear. This spear was found stuck in the chest of the victim. Okay. The 2 p.m. photo number 2. Hmm. Bold hammer, blah 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 blah. Yes, I will have some lens one. I don't care. 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 It was Powers, that man right there, and he was heading toward the studio. No. You just saw someone in the steel samurai costume. Let me get this straight, old back, uh, Mrs. Old Back. You've been saying since yesterday that you saw Mr. Powers, correct? But you're talking about the man in this photo, aren't you? Uh, just a moment, Mr. White. Let me see the photo. What is this, exactly? None other than the Steel Summer White, defender of New Old Tokyo. Mrs. Oldback, is this the Mr. Powers that you saw? Of course. Did your mama teach you any sense, Sonny? Anyone can plainly see that's Powers, right? Uh, yeah. Um, well, I wonder. True, Mr. Powers does play the role of the Steel Summer White. But that doesn't mean Mr. Powers is the Steel Samurai. I, I know that. I wasn't born yesterday. No one in this court has accused you of that, Mrs. L. Witness. He's having trouble calling her old bag, apparently. However, you do not approve that person in his photos, Mr. Powers, do you? Um, no, it's young man. Of course I have proof. What? Hmm? Huh? Even that should be surprised. The prosecution would like to ask the old the witness. Please make known all the information in your possession ahead of time. Oh well, I don't know. Everyone would be so noisy. You should be ashamed, all of you. Anyway, I sort of thought to the young detective. Uh, he told me that this isn't any good as evidence, pal. I didn't even give it a second look. <laughs> Wow, old Windback has left even Edgeworth speechless. She's good. Well, let's see about your proof then. The man with the photo. <coughs> uh, I never say anything I don't mean, like you. That morning, during the ones with the action scene, there's a power strip and fall. He broke one of her, both the props, it was a big mess. Apparently, he sprained his ankle.